There's a situation we see in scripture where the disciples were practicing social distancing, but not because of the reason we are doing that today. They were actually hiding away from everybody in a room due to fear, not because of a virus, but because somebody, they were afraid were gonna to try to kill them. Jesus had just been crucified. Their leader, as far as they knew, he was dead and not returning. So they were hiding away and they were living in fear. And then suddenly Jesus showed up, spoke peace to them, and filled them with his spirit. That changed everything. I'm gonna to read to you today in John chapter 20. It says, that evening on the first day of the week, the disciples were meeting behind locked doors, locked away, hiding out, because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Suddenly Jesus was standing there among them. Peace be with you. Now, he had to speak peace to them. I mean, if you were in a locked room and somebody you thought was dead suddenly is standing in that room with you, they need to speak a little bit of peace to you. So basically Jesus said, chill out, calm down, it's okay. Peace be with you, he said. As he spoke, he held out his hands for them to see and he showed them his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. There was their joy when they saw Jesus. He spoke to them again, and this is what he said. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Then he breathed on them, and he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Peace to you. Receive the Holy Spirit. I believe that that's what Jesus is saying to us today as well. Hey, in your time of fear, in your time of distress, the time when you may be even fearing for your life, peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit today. I believe that's what Jesus wants for us today. He wants us to be in peace. He wants us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you've not received the Holy Spirit in your life, by receiving Him as Lord and Savior, ask Him to forgive you of your sins, cleanse you from all unrighteousness, accept what Jesus did for you on the cross, and receive the Holy Spirit. If you're already born again, as Paul said, be ye being filled with the Holy Spirit. Say, Jesus, fill me up with your spirit. It's not a spirit of fear, but it's a spirit of power, love, and sound mind. Thank you, Jesus, for your Holy Spirit's presence and power in my life. So let's begin to speak that to one another today. Peace, peace be with you, and be filled with the Holy Spirit.